This is the Autoblogger. It's an automatic marketing web app. We offer four major tools right now, so autoblogging, which helps you create hundreds of SEO optimized articles at once in just a few simple steps. We have the SEO heist. We're taking our competitors' traffic by rewriting their newest articles. It has an Xbot. This personalized Xbot will write tweets on your behalf. We have a Reddit bot. It automatically responds to new posts on your chosen subreddits. And before we only had the option to use GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 Turbo, but now we've integrated with Gemini. This is Google's large language model. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how to get your API key, and show you some cool things that you get with Gemini Pro that you don't get with the OpenAI APIs. All right, let's get into it. If you're not new to the Autoblogger, you can skip ahead in this video to see all the new features. If you are new, head on over to autoblogger.app. I'm going to drop a link in the description below and you're going to sign up. You're going to put your full name, your email address, a password, re-enter that password and then click sign up. That's going to drop you onto the settings page and we have a few integrations that we offer right now. More will be added later. But we have Blogger, Reddit for the Reddit bot, Shopify, Webflow, WordPress.com, WordPress.org, and then X for the X bot. If you want to use the Auto Blogger or the SEO Heist, you need to connect your website. So let's say I had a WordPress.com website, I would click this. I would name my WordPress.com integration, then click the connect button. It will bring you to one of these WordPress.com consent screens. Click approve. And if everything is good, it's going to bring you back to the connections page and then you'll see your brand new connection down here. So this is an old one that I connected through wordpress.org. And in this video, I'm going to use BookGen as an example integration. At any point, if you're stuck connecting your website, I have these little watch video buttons at the top of the screen. This one is for Shopify. Sometimes the connections can be a little bit complicated, but I have created these short video tutorials for you. This one's just over two minutes you'll get your Shopify site connected in no time. Next, I'm going to click on API keys. We offer OpenAI, so that's ChatGPT 3.5 and GPT-4, the newest edition Gemini Pro, and then Stable Diffusion 3 for an image alternative. If you're going to be generating thousands of articles, I highly recommend Stable Diffusion. It's literally 40 times cheaper than Dolly 3, so think about it. Anyways, for this video, let's do Gemini. Getting your secret key for Gemini Pro is so easy. Just click on this hyperlink. It will take you to Google's AI Studio and then click Create API Key. If you have previous projects, just choose one of them right here. Click Create API Key and then copy this key. Go back into Settings, paste it in, and then you can click the Test button to test the connection. If everything is good, we're going to get a check mark in the button. That means Gemini Pro has been connected successfully. Why use Gemini Pro compared to OpenAI? Well, a lot of people say they are comparative in terms of logic, reasoning, understanding, comprehension, and general AI text output. But that's not the only reason. Take a look at this, and yes, you are reading this right. It is completely free to use Gemini Pro. As long as you stay within the 15 requests per minute or 32,000 tokens per minute or 1,500 requests per day, both the input text and the output text is free. If you're using this on the Autoblogger app, you won't pay a dime for your text generations. You can run the SEO heist on your website forever free of charge. I'm so sorry it took me so long to add this. I didn't know it was free. As soon as I realized that, it was a no-brainer to integrate it with this app. I would say Gemini 1.0 is equivalent to GPT 3.5 Turbo. Soon we're going to be able to access Gemini 1.5 Pro. This isn't quite available yet in the API, so we have to wait a bit. People are predicting early May, but for very small rate limits, it's also free. For some of you using the Autoblogger app, you might hit rate limits, but still pay as you go is a lot cheaper than GPT-4 Turbo. 
And I'd say that Gemini 1.5 Pro is equivalent to GPT-4 Turbo, if not better at some tasks. All right, we're all set up. The last step is to click on subscription, then click subscribe. It will take you to a secure Stripe checkout page. The autoblogger is $9 per month, and that includes all of the features, unlimited uses, unlimited workflows, unlimited connections. So if you're an agency, you can connect multiple websites to the autoblogger all under one subscription. I try to make it as cheap as humanly possible, and I appreciate all of the support. If the payment was a success, it's going to bring you back to the settings page. Then I can go to subscription, and now I see a button that says go to portal. That means you are live and active. All right, I'm going to click home. It's going to bring me to the main page. And the tool I'm gonna use in this video is auto blogging. So I'll click on this. It has auto selected my most recent integration. This is the wordpress.org website. I can choose whether to publish the articles when they are generated. That is checked by default or send it to draft. Some people like to generate their articles to draft first, look them over before posting them live. I give you the option there. Next, we're gonna select our text model. We just hooked up Gemini Pro, so I'm gonna select that. For the image model, in order to use the DALI image models, you do need an open AI API key. We also have Stable Diffusion 3, which I said is a lot cheaper. We also have no image if you don't wanna generate an image for your articles, maybe save on some costs. I'm gonna select Stable Diffusion 3. Next, we have our chosen language. It used to be a drop-down box. I've now made it an input box, so you can write anything. You can even go to Klingon but let's keep our output in English. Now I need to choose my posting interval. By default, it posts a new article every one hour. We also have a random toggle. Random will generate a new post at a random interval, any point between one and 24 hours. So one time it could post it at 2 p.m. The next article could be posted at 4 p.m. The next article could be posted at 1 p.m. the next day. And this might look good for your website, these articles being released at a more organic rate. Next, we have link URL and link text. This is optional. Link URL is something that we want at the bottom of each article. It can be an internal link, an external link, an affiliate link. And then the link text is the type of text that's gonna be hyperlinked. So if we wanted to send people to ESPN.com, and then my text was the best sports website on the net, this text will be hyperlinked to ESPN at the end of the article. Next, we have our text prompt and our image prompt. The text prompt is a little bit of information that you wanna give our model. Let's say you want it to write in a different tone. I could write, be funny, or write in a professional style. Or instead of HTML, I could say markdown format. Use this to help guide your outputs to better generations. We also have the image prompt, pretty self-explanatory. This is what we put before our image generation. We're obviously generating images that relate to the article, but if you wanna add a little bit more context in, you can edit this. For example, I'm gonna add make it minimalistic. And then we have our keyword list. If you wanna paste in a bunch of keywords at a time, make sure they are all separated by a comma. You can copy and paste right into this input box, or you can write them individually. So let's go apple, mango, pear, grape, pineapple, cherry, orange, and lemon. I have eight keywords here, which means it's gonna write eight articles, one for every keyword, and I have the random toggle checked, so it's gonna write them at a random interval. I'll just take a quick look over all of my settings, everything is good to go, and I can click generate posts. This will take me to the workflows page. This page has been completely updated. We now have some tabs on the top right corner. You can sort between all of your workflows. So these are the auto bloggers. These are the SEO heist. I don't have any Xbots or Reddit bots running right now, so there is nothing there. Or I can click on all. At any point, I can cancel my workflow. I get some information right here. By default, we name your newest workflow, the date and how many keywords you're using, but you can change this. I'm gonna change it to fruit workflow. Then I can click on the info button and now we can edit running workflows. So if you want to change any of the parameters in this workflow, I give you the option right here. 
let's say you don't like the random interval anymore. I can uncheck this, then change this to every two hours. I can change my text model. Let's say I now want to use GPT-4 Turbo. Maybe I don't want to generate images anymore or change the language to Spanish. All of these are now options. Here are all the keywords that I've used for this workflow. It shows the current keyword that we're on and that is Mango, which means it must have written an article for Apple already. And before, if a workflow just randomly stopped, we would have no idea of what went on. I'm now tracking all of the error logs. So if you're suspicious about a workflow, click on that info button, bring up this pop-up, and then check your error logs. It will tell you exactly what's going on and why your workflow is not running. Nothing is shown in the error logs here, which means this workflow is running fine. At any point, I can delete this workflow or I can pause it. This workflow has been paused and then I can resume. So I'm gonna click the info button, go back down and resume this workflow. Here I've hopped over to my WordPress dashboard. I've clicked on posts and I see my newest article, The Allure of Apples. I'm gonna click into this. And the cool thing, like mentioned before, this article was completely free to write. Look at the apples image, a bunch of apples in a basket. And the Gemini Pro API wrote a full article about that keyword. And there's our hyperlink text at the bottom. If you want to use the auto blogger for yourself, a link will be in the description below. I also have an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App, which teaches you how to build web apps just like the auto blogger for yourself. I'll put a link to this as well in the description. You can click on view the syllabus and see all the lessons that we have to offer. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.